Take a look at the newly designed library at Pleasantville Elementary School. It's a far contrast from the old. Just ask this first grader who's in the know. I like the new books and I like how um, like the new TV is showing what the library used to look like and, uh, and what it looks like now. All this was made possible thanks to $95,000 in grant funding. Money well spent, but that's not all. Colonial libraries are the first public schools in the state with self-checkout kiosks, much like the ones you see in grocery stores. And then you press enter, and then that's when you flip it over. It's easier, because all you got to do is just pretty much one thing, just scan it. Charlotte Williams is proud to know Colonial was chosen to pilot the self-checkout system that comes with an electronic wand that takes inventory, giving her more time to teach in her reimagined, updated space. In just one month, she watched readership jump by 90%. Before, our space was very cramped. It was very um, outdated. The tables were outdated. The chairs were outdated. The materials that we used were outdated, the shelves. But now with the redesign, it's a bright, open space, and so the kids are attracted to it. It's very cool. It has a lot of different books, very space, and it's much, much easier. <laughs> Being first and on the cutting edge is a page right out of Colonial's playbook. It's what we strive to do every day to give our students the very best. That's it for this edition of Keeping Up with Colonial. I'm Lauren Wilson, your public information officer for the Colonial School District.